guys, today we're gonna make a really cute banner. And I saw this from Stampin' Up! and um, I'm just gonna share with you how I created it. So the first thing you need is a piece of grid paper, a ruler, and a pencil. And you're going to get six banner pieces out of one um, sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So I just want you to know that ahead of time that you can get six of them out of one um, piece. Now I'm going to have pictures over on my blog showing you what the banner finished banner looks like along with um, some other goodies that I created. So you'll be able to check that out. But um, we're going to get started. I'm going to show you how to do this. So you just have to measure up from the bottom to seven and a quarter and you're going to put a little dot there basically. I had to turn my paper over because the inches were on the other side. And so you're gonna go to seven and a quarter inches up and then make your little dot on your paper and then you'll be able to use your ruler to draw your lines down. Now at the bottom, you need to go two and three eighths inch from each side of that line in the center. So the line in the center, you're gonna measure out two and three eighths inch from each side. And for me, it was just easy to just do it this way. Um, and that makes the bottom a total of four and three quarters. So you just go two and three eighths and make a little mark and then move your ruler over and two and three eighths and make a little mark. Now I'm making these banners um, or pennants, some people call them pennants, for a graduation party um, for my cousin, Kelsey. I, you guys have been hearing me talk about her. She is graduating from high school and going to CSU Long Beach. So I'm creating some fun black and gold decorations for her because those are the colors of Long Beach. So now I'm drawing my lines down and then I'm just going to cut out um, this triangle. Um, basically, you could just use scissors or you could use your paper trimmer, however you want to do it. I probably should have just used my paper trimmer, but I think my scissors were just sitting there. And this is now creating a template or a guide for me to use on my 12 by 12 cardstock. So I'm cutting this out and then I'll have this handy and ready to use. And then I'm going to show you how to lay it out on the um, actual 12 by 12 piece of paper so that you can see how you can get six out of um, one piece. Um, all right, so I'm getting this all cut out here. And I do want to mention while I'm uh, cutting that you can use a host code over on my blog to get free card kits from me when you purchase Stampin' Up! products from me. So make sure that you check that out. Um, I've had a couple people email and ask how they get the free card kits. And all you have to do is purchase Stampin' Up! product from me and use the host code. And the host code is over on my blog at levinstampin.com. And so you can get the code from there and you can place your order from there as well by clicking on the shop, shop button. So that's how you do that. Okay, so now I wanted to use, for my banners, I wanted to use some vellum and I wanted to also use some um, designer series paper. So what you have to do to get started is um, you're going to have to cut your paper at seven and a quarter inches using the Stampin' Up! trimmer or whatever trimmer you have. So I just took and I lined it up at seven and a quarter and I went ahead and sliced it. And you want to cut it before you make your banners because otherwise you'll have a mess. So go ahead and cut that and then you're going to take your banner pieces and you're going to just simply line up the um, template along the bottom of the paper that you've just cut, kind of line it up at the bottom. And then I'm using my T-square ruler to go to the edge of the template and then use and then draw my lines onto the vellum so that I can cut it all apart. So I highly recommend you do it this way because the paper that you're using for a t the template is not very sturdy paper. It's just, you know, flimsy paper. So I really recommend using a ruler, lining it up along where your template is, 
and then drawing your lines because that will get you nice straight edges and you won't have to worry about um, the paper kind of crinkling while you're trying to trace along the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and do this um, along this paper by turning it over. So now you can see this is how I'm going to get six out of here, right? I turned the, the template over the opposite way. So now it is go facing down and I'm just lining it up and now I only have to draw a line along one edge. I don't have to do it along both edges because I've already made the line on the other edge. Then I'm flipping the template back around facing up and I'll go ahead and lay the ruler down on that opposite side from where I already made a line and I'll go ahead and um, run my pencil along there. Now when I flip it over again it is actually a little too big. The paper doesn't quite fit to the edge. That's okay because here's the thing. These are just banners that are going on a piece of string and hanging up on a wall. It's not like they are um, gonna be scrutinized for size, right? So I just went ahead and I lined up the edge and I made my line anyway. And then I just adjusted and cut it off. And you'll see that when I go to do the trimming. So it wasn't a big deal and I was able to fix it that way. And so um, I finished these, so that gives me four. Now I have the other little piece that I cut off and I'm gonna be able to get two out of this piece. So you line the long edge, one of the long edges up with the bottom of the paper going the long way. And now I'm going to trace the short side and the long side. And then I'll be able to flip this paper over and trace the short side. So this ends up getting you two more banner pieces. So I have to say that um, Donna Griffith at Stampin' Up! is the one that came up with this. And she did a really quick little video. And I said, well, I have to share this with my... Uh, YouTube subscribers because they're gonna love how, that you can get six banners out of one sheet of 12 by 12 that was what I was most impressed with because the banners are pretty decent size I mean they're not like teeny tiny so that's what I really liked about doing this is that they were pretty um, decent size banners and then here I just went along the edge and I and I drew a line all the way down because I knew that I was gonna trim away all of that extra on the edge. So then I needed to just get my stamp and trimmer and start cutting on all the lines that I've already made. And so I just would line up my paper. You still wanna line your paper up at the point and trim away. And if stuff didn't line up quite perfect, then it was no big deal. I just kind of adjusted as I went um, and made these banners and it was super fast and super easy. I made a whole bunch of them in like 30, 40 minutes and black and in this really pretty foiled vellum. So super fun, super easy to create these, um, banners. So the other thing I want to mention to you is that, um, right now Stampin' Up! during the month of June is offering a couple of really cool promotions while I, while I do this, I just want to share with you. Um, that basically you can get two free stamp sets when you purchase the starter kit for $99. The starter kit is 99 bucks, but you get to choose $125 of product to put in it. And then there's also another really great promotion that if you spend over $350 in one order, or if you have some friends, um, do an order with you, then you can get $35 extra and free host product. So that's the scoop. Um, on these banners, you're just gonna punch a hole on the corner. You can see in the photo here, all I did is punch a hole in the corner and then string them along and hang them up. If you wanna see more videos from me, you can check out the videos at the end of this video by clicking on them if you are on a computer. Thanks so much, bye-bye.